Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor and today we will be talking about the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. In problem number 45, we'd like to evaluate the integral from 1 to 2 of 3 over t dt. Now the first thing I notice here is we've got a 3 in the numerator and we could, if we wanted to, just pull that 3 outside the integral. We don't have to, but we certainly can, and maybe it will make it more clear to us what to do next if we do. So we go from 1 to 2 of 1 over t dt. All right, now we need to take an antiderivative. So in other words, whose derivative is 1 over t? Well, um, the answer to that is ln of t. And actually, we have to be a little bit careful. It should be ln of the absolute value of t. Okay, so it's 3 times, uh, well, it's ln of t, but that's going to be evaluated from 1 to 2. Now, once I see that it's being evaluated from 1 to 2, those are all positive numbers, so maybe that absolute value t doesn't matter so much here, but if I was you had some negative numbers over here, this absolute value would be really important. So you've got to remember that the antiderivative of 1 over t is ln of absolute value t, not ln of t in case of negatives. Okay, so now let's plug things in. What we want to do is we want to take 2 and plug it in first, and then subtract plugging in 1. In other words, we'll have 3 times First, I want to plug in the 2, and if I do, I get ln2, and then I want to subtract plugging in 1. So I'll plug in 1, and I get ln of 1. Uh, but what's ln of 1? That's 0. So I just get 3 times ln of 2, because this guy, ln of 1, that's 0. So 3 ln of 2 is my antiderivative, or in other words, it's the, um, the answer for this definite integral. The antiderivative is actually right here. This is just the solution to that definite. 